And that off for two miles, the Madigan Group, EBF, Sheila Burke, Novus Hurdle, it's a listed race. And the leader is Tully Hill, one of two greys, Bulldog the other, non platted Bulldog. In mid-division, it is Tully Hill turning towards the first, leading Jigoro. Disputing third place is Saddler Up, with no flies in him, tracked by Lombron and then Bulldog. Westport Cove and Tina Meehan, the back marker as they take their first flight. In the lead is Tully Hill and strides on by four legs, turning into the second and third flights, followed by Jigoro, who flies in him third, and then Lombron and Sandler up, Bulldog next with the final couple, straightening for flights two and three, Westport Cove and Tina Meehan. On to the second, one of two in front of us, and it's Tully Hill, followed by Jigoro, who flies in him, Slight mistake, Saddler up on the outside of Lombron and then Bulldog, Westport Cove and Tina Meehan. Spacing them out is Tully Hill, Paul Townen heading for the third. In second place is Jigoro and Jack Kennedy. Third is No Flies and him and Mark Walsh and then Saddler up and Sean Cleary fell. Lombron, Danny Mullins next and then Bulldog, and Daryl Jacob, Westport, Westport Cove and Michael O'Sullivan, one from last. And finally, Tina Meehan and Gavin Broda. About to turn towards the fourth flight on the descent to the back straight. The leader is Tully Hill. By three and a half to Jigoro in third place. There's no flies in him. Dazzled on debut, they lightly raced and then Saddler up on the checks. Lombra next, two lengths to Bulldog and then Westport Cove and Tina Meehan. Little changes from first to last. As Tully Hill's lead has been cut in half by Jigoro and then no flies in him. Saddler up on the outside of Lombron with the back three Bulldog, Westport Cove and Tina Meehan. The downhill flight the fourth, and it is Tully Hill hurdling fluently from Jigoro, no flies in him, and then Saddler up, Lombron next, and then Bulldog, Westport Cove and Tina Meehan adrift by three at the rear. Into the back straight they go, soon at the halfway stage, another five flights left to jump, and the Madigan Group EBF Sheila Burke Novos Hurdle. It's Tully Hill re-establishing a good four-length advantage over Jigoro. A length in front of the third running, no flies in him. It was followed by Saddler Rapp, Bulldog. Lombron next with the final couple, Westport Cove and Tina Meehan. The flight brings them past their point of departure. Four from the finish. It's Tully Hill. Over that from Jigoro, who's back within two to three legs. And no flies in him. Saddler up, Bulldog, Lombron. Westport Cove, and nudged at the back is Tina Meehan, returning to the point at which they started, and there's three flights left to jump. And it is Tully Hill, the leader, from Jigoro, less than three lengths away in second. Third, there's no flies in him, and then Saddler up. Together next, Bulldog and Lombron, and then Westport Cove, five lengths to Tina Meehan. Third, last flight, half a mile from the finish, and it's Tully Hill, followed by Jigoro. And third, there's no flies in him. Lombron pushed in a fourth ahead of Bulldog, making a forward move in between those two is Westport Cove and then Sadler up. The second last, Tully Hill from Jigoro, two legs between them. No flies in him, now shaken up on the inside. Closing is Westport Cove and then Lombron, Bulldog now being asked in behind the leaders and then Sadler up as their heads turn for home. One flight left to jump and it is Tully Hill, the one they've got to go and pass. From Jigoro, no flies in him on the inside. Followed then by Westport Cove who's come under pressure and then Bulldog, but there's none going better than the one in front, Tully Hill. And Paul Townend offers rain and away he goes from Jigoro no flies in him and Westport Cove into the final flight. The leader is Tully Hill, out clear. Tully Hill over the last by six to seven legs from Jigoro, a mistake by no flies in him and then Westport Cove. But it's Tully Hill getting better with experience, keeps the winning trend going for Paul Townend and Willie Mullins in the Madigan Group, EBF, Sheila Burke, Nova Serta. no flies in him, pips the second from Jigoro third. You walk back in with Paul Town and the winning our listed hurdle on Tully Hill. That was impressive. Yeah, put away a nice field well, I thought. Yeah. Um, getting better at jumping. Getting better doing whatever way he does it. Um, uh, he has plenty of it done at home and David Casey's been doing a good job in him. So um, he's a fair engine the other way. He put him away, turned in. Yeah, and you'd have been trouble from a long, long way out. After jumping two hurdles, the lads were struggling to keep up with you. Uh, yeah, 
just the way we're riding him now, I think drop back and trip and let him do that is probably suiting him a bit better. Um, but he showed he'd a high class in bumper horse in, as a bumper horse, didn't he? And he gave a dream to share, of course, the best bumper horse last year, a big fright here in the champion. He did indeed, he did indeed. Um, he was probably a bit fresher coming here than him, but uh, no, that's, look, he's... We were very disappointed the first day, but he seems to be going on the right on the right track now. And with each run, he's getting better jumping. That was obviously his best round of jumping today, but still a bit to work on. Still to work on, like there's still it's the first time the back. I don't know how he came out over it, but he's getting faster and better doing what he does. So yeah, well done, good performance. Thanks. Yeah. Yes, welcome back to Punches Sound. William Mullins joins me now at the landing. His uh, second leg of a double so far in the card this afternoon, landing the listed hurdle with Tully Hill. That was very very good. Very impressive. Um, he fell. Oh, he didn't fall, but he uh, early part of his j jumping career here. I think what he was here, his maiden hurdle. I thought he was certainty, and he never jumped a hurdle. Uh, he was terrible. So we deputised David Casey with getting him to jump. And, David Casey back school. I'm telling, and he, he actually got a. He was brought down during the week, so he was. Uh, and he woke both of them up, I think. But, <laughs> but David's been doing a good job, as you can see. He jumped from hurdle to hurdle today. He was once he got his jumping right, then he has the engine and. and Today we saw the engine that he, the proper engine that he has, you know. And that was never questionable. The engine, as we saw as a bumper horse last year, he gave a dream to share a fair fright here in the Grade One Champion Bumper. Uh, that's right. You know, I thought he'd be one of our top novice hurdlers this year, and that shoots him right back up to where, where I thought he would be at the start of the season. So very pleased that he put his jumping together, and um, we can see, you know, you, you can all see now what he's up to do. And Willie, he'd uh, what looked a strong field, plenty of strength and depth in him. Yeah. He'd have been in trouble a long, long way out. At the jumping two hurdles, or struggling to keep up with him. Yeah, he's a huge long stride. Um, you know, he's a real, uh, he's a horse looking forward to going over fences, but I hope he jumps, uh, you know, he can keep improving with the jump. Maybe a fence, he might be better, you know, might be something more to look at. Um, but I imagine he might go for the Supreme Novice now. Uh, you know, he, he, that performance to me was good enough. You know, I know there was a lot of uh, thought behind uh, the couple of horses that were in behind him. So. He made those look very ordinary, did indeed? On the day, yeah. Yep. Uh, good performance by Mr. Policeman. Totally different proposition in a weaker race in our first race today. Than yeah, it, it, you know, it hadn't the class that he met in Nace the last day. Uh, so he got his jumping together a lot better too. Uh, I, was, I was happier for him, you know. that He'd probably need to go out and trip, I'd say, as the season goes on and the ground gets better. That ground was quite tacky today. You know, when he came in after the first race, the, the uh, muck was over his... Fetlocks, you know, it was that. Uh, it surprised me how deep it was for Pontchartrain, so I was very pleased with his performance. Is that where we're most likely to see him next, stepping up and trip? I'd say step up and trip, and probably stay at home. But we'll see. You know, uh, he's entered in uh, in Cheltenham, but might be better off staying at home. Pagan in her upcoming race, I'd say, is frustrated. You said, at least since he got it. She has, she has, but I think. Uh, I think the trip here, I think this really testing ground would be better for her. She's just coming right. She's probably one of those fillies that just take a few runs. You know, hopefully today will be her day. And two cracking chances in the bumper. Both of them have come off the back of two really good runs and two good bumpers at Leperson over Christmas. That's right. I mean, I was taking it sound victorious because he, he was only learning. He could see the penny dropping with him half up the straight in Leperson and the winning post just came too soon for him. So if he keeps learning... Uh, he'll go very close today, but uh, in at the park is no back number either, you know, and Jody loves uh, beating Patrick, so <laughs> you wouldn't know what will happen there. Hopefully one of the two of them will do it in here. Great stuff, and probably, it's fair to say, one of the most important races today is the eighth race, is the Up the Yard Challenge, you're represented by Cashback, and Adam Connolly, who works for you, looks out the gallop into Champ. he rides uh, Cashback for you. Yes, I mean, he's only got 12 stone three to do today, and I've, I pitied Adam, I think, um, I think, Paul probably did 10 stone easier than Adam will do 12-3, uh, but he's ridden in a point a point or two, and um, you know he he has a great team of horses under his care, uh, so he has, uh, so he deserves a crack at a race like this, and it, it's a great initiative, you know, for all the stable staff, something to look forward to for them during the year, and um, of course he's a lovely cashback, uh, lovely horse to ride on it too, so. I wish him the best of luck. Stuff. And Willie, we can't let you go. But obviously it's your first day back racing. It's been uh, an emotional and poignant week as well at the passing of uh, your mum, Mrs Mullins. It was, but Ma was ready to go. She was with me here, um, probably one of the last meetings at Pontchartrain. She was in great form. And um, she had, uh, you know, she'd said all her goodbyes to everyone. 
had her few quid on Charlie the last, the, the day before she died, and um, she was set to go, and we celebrated her passing, uh, as she would, love, she would have loved to have uh, us celebrate. So. Very well said. Well done. Thank you very much, Kevin. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.